Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be showing you a plain and simple way to start mining Gram coin. So if we look on the hash rate and O charts, Gram coin is bringing in decent profitability at 10 cents per kilo hour, probably one of the only coins right now on GPU mining that we can actually be profitable on. Alephium was on there, however, it's been switched over obviously to FPGAs and now probably going over to ASICs. There's obviously a lot of other GPU mineable coins which don't really have the profits, but Gram has been one of those ones that has had profits over the last, I believe, month or so. So just a quick bit of back history if you don't know about it. Gram is built kind of on top of the Ton network, and as it says here, it's the first ever proof of work jetton from the Ton blockchain. So 5 billion Gram after Mint was distributed to POW givers, and now you can mine it from them. So it doesn't really work in the same way as other mining networks. It kind of goes in these cycles and sometimes the fees can be high or low during these cycles because I believe it depends on the cycle of gram to ton in terms of the price of the coin. So basically there's a lot of movement going on but it still remains relatively profitable for us GPU miners. So today with the help of our sponsor, which is Hyperpool, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually mine gram coin in a very simple and easy way. We're also going to be given an honest review of Hyperpool and then we'll go through some overclocks for Gramcoin. So how to start actually mining. So you can use HiveOS, Linux and Windows to mine Gram. Below are the minor options and recommended configurations to help you start mining. So we have these three miners that we can choose. Today we're going to be going with LOL Miner, but you can do Team Red Miner for AMD or Regal Miner if you want. When we click on LOL Miner, as you can see here, significant improvements for Gram, significant improvements on NVIDIA Turing's by about 1-2% to on Gram, so a lot of development going on LOL Miner for, I believe right now is Gram and Ironfish is their main focus. So as I said, we're going to be using LOL Miner, so we just download the latest version there, and it'll show up in our downloads. We just want to click and download suspicious file. Normally it does block it, so you can just let it through if you want. So once you've downloaded LOL Miner and you have all these files here, you want to scroll down to the mine gram file. So we want to right click, hit edit, and it will come up with a bunch of text for you. However, on this side, we've already input all the things that we need. And what I'll do is I'll leave this in the description below. And all you have to replace is this and then your overclocks. So this is your user ID, which is not your wallet address. And we'll cover that a little bit in a minute and I'll show you how to obtain a user ID. So this is to Hyperpool. This is Ton Mode 6, which you need to be included. This is why I'm leaving it in the description so you guys can copy it straight from there without having to toy around with the Ton Mode 6 and the pool ID. And then obviously you can set your own overclocks at the end. So as I said, I'll leave this in the description if you wanna copy and paste it into your own batch file. And then all you have to do is replace this text with your pool ID. Now. The pool ID isn't necessarily your wallet address here. So what you have to do is you have to download Telegram and then you get your pool ID from this Telegram Hyperbot. As it says here, you must use the obtained pool as your wallet address when starting the miner, otherwise coins will not be credited. So because Ton is basically gone off the technology behind Telegram, it makes it easier to obviously credit these coins on Telegram. You will also be able to check your balance and withdraw gram coins and more in the same Telegram bot where you got your pool ID. So all you have to do is click here and then it's going to ask you to open the Telegram desktop. As you can see here, we're on the Hyperpool bot. So I have been playing around with this, just seeing what we can get. All you do here, click menu and then we click on pool ID. That gives us the pool ID that we have right here. So you just copy and paste that over here. And obviously in the description, you just change this to whatever pool ID you get from the Telegram bot. So it's pretty much as simple as that in terms of starting the miner. If you guys do want overclocks, I've just got a fan at 90. However, if you go on hash rate NO, click on coins, scroll down and find gram coin, click on benchmarks, and then you basically have to look for your GPU. On this recording rig, we're running a 4060, which isn't really the greatest GPU out there for mining. However, it gets the job done in terms of recording. So what we would do is we'd find the 4060. I'm just trying to look for it now. So here it is, 2.87 giga hash. We take this, and then as you can see there, we have minor options for lol minor, so for overclocking. All we would do was copy this, 
and then paste it at the end of our batch file here. That basically is all set up in the right format. So this is basically the best overclocks that you can find. And you might want to tinker around with them if the temperatures get too hot. I would add your own fan overclock as well if you can. Then click exit and click save. All you want to do is double click this and it will start mining. So as you can see here, this is just recorded after the fact because we're recording on the rig. We're just showing us mining to the pool. And then obviously the temperatures, hash rate and stuff like that, as you can see there, the speed of the miner. And then we're going to show you guys right now how to actually view all of your balances and stuff like that. So in this next part, I'll show you how to view your coins and see how to send them out or to actually see your wallet balance or anything like that. So lastly, before we move on to how to actually show all your wallet addresses and how much you have, I do want to mention about the fees on Gram coins. So fees on the hyper pool is dynamic. Normally they are set on other pools. However, I feel like dynamic is probably the best way to do it right now. So they don't have any specific figure on the fees. Gram coin mining is a bit special. Pools tend to spend fees in turn to submit the proofs. This is how you actually do the blockchain work, I guess. And the gram to ton ratio is constantly changing and so are the pool costs as well. So this is why they don't have a set figure because they would either lose or gain money. So they're basically going off the day by day market rates. It's also necessary to take the quantity of the infrastructure of a particular pool and many other factors depend on profitability. So they don't set an exact figure and they try to be as transparent as possible. Their pool is also PPLNS and everything mined minus expenses is divided between the participants of the round of 60 minutes. And then lastly, if you are on Team Red Miner, you want to use this ton pool mode equals ice mining. But for lol miner, it's ton mode 6. Don't worry, I've already included that in the batch file below. So you don't actually have to worry about inputting any of that. So once you have your pool ID and you've been mining to it, all you want to do is click on menu and then you want to click on balance. So this is going to show you your balance right here in gram coins and your shares on the round per 60 minutes. So basically how much effort you're putting into the network at the time on that pool. And then once you've built up enough, you actually want to click on withdraw. And then it says all gram tokens from your balance will be withdrawn to your crypto bot on Telegram. Do you want to continue? You click yes. It's going to say nothing for me just because I don't actually have any gram in there right now. But if you click on withdraw and then you click on your crypto bot here, it's going to open another page, which is basically your Telegram crypto wallet. And as you can see there, it has Tongcoin, Gram, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, USDT, Binance Coin, Tron, and USDC. So once you've built this up, it's going to withdraw to the your crypto bot. And then from there, you can actually withdraw it onto an exchange if you want and sell it off. Or you can withdraw it into any wallet that you want. All you would do is you'd click on withdraw. So you'd click on gram. And then all you would do is click on the open network. So this is basically what ton is. As we don't have enough to withdraw, as you can see there, the fee is 10 gram. But after you do have enough sitting in your wallet, you can withdraw it outwards to a different wallet address. I actually haven't used Telegram that much in terms of cryptocurrency. But after seeing this, I think it's got a pretty good user interface in terms of the menu and stuff like that. So we can withdraw or deposit USDT, as you can see there. Obviously, you can do it on the Tron network, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, or Tron. So there's a lot of options on there. Obviously, Bitcoin on the Lightning network, I believe, and a bunch of other things. So that's what you do to withdraw to your address. As I said, if you want to actually check on your mining status, you basically go to balance, and then I'll show you how many shares you have in this round. Lastly, if you're getting stuck on anything, you can click on the how to and it will direct you to other things. So once you join the Hyperpool community chat, it's not actually in English. So you'd want to join probably the Discord if you wanted. So you can click up here, check out the Discord server if you're part of the English speaking community. So unless you speak this language, I would go over to the Discord and ask questions in there if you're getting really stuck or you can leave them at the bottom of this video. So hopefully you guys have learned how to mine Gram. As I said, do leave a comment on the video and I'll try to help you out. Make sure you guys check out Hyperpool. There will be a link in the description for that. And there'll also be that batch file for Windows in the description so you guys can actually copy and paste the text into your own one. Overall, I believe that this is one of the easiest ways to set up Gramcoin mining. And hopefully you guys like the video and subscribe for more content like this.